Okay, if I'm all wrong, I know for a fact that I had way more than this at the at the end of last season, it was like almost 400 million. So for some reason, I, I really don't understand why the hell they actually reduced the amount of money that we made. But this is part one of season eight. Last episode, last season in general was really, really good for us. We started well and we finished well. We were undefeated in the entire series. In the entire season, if you guys did not watch it, make sure you go back and check it out. Also, click the like button, subscribe, and all of that. So the first thing I want to do in this video is to buy a new player. Now you guys know that we sold, or rather, yeah, we had to sell. Um, Kallenberg in the last in the last episode and I mean, it was sad I really didn't want him to go but he wanted to go so we just had to sell him we got a decent amount of money for him and well we're just going to be looking for a replacement replacement right now he was 89 around 89 90 I mean he just got to 90 before we sold him so I actually wanted to bring in Kamavinga because he's the youngest out of this bunch but I'm still not able to sign him. I'm still not able to sign the fucking Barca. It's like it's like Juventus hasn't gotten anyone else in their team for some reason. It's very, very odd and very annoying. And then for Conor Gallagher, I actually wanted to buy him as well, even though he doesn't have a face, which is kind of annoying. But uh, they said this. He has already signed a pre-contract pre-contract pre agreement with another club, so I cannot do that. And then Gra Ryan Gravenberg as well. This team will not sell the player, and he's too important for the club. I really don't understand why this, this stuff is happening. So I think I think it might just be. A glitch in the game because it happened last se last season and it did not happen again and was like was kind of going on and off so i'm just going to like simulate a little bit ahead to see if that's the case so i have simmed a couple days ahead and it looks like we actually are able to buy um kamavinga as well as Conor galaga that's good for me but i'm going to be going for Ka kamavinga above all else i think i think i don't know if he's picked or not but if he's 89 and he's picked i'm really i have no problem with that at all so i'm going to I, i'm going to start the offer now we can get the deal for around 111 million and then 138 is the asking price even though he's valued at 96 so because of what happened um last season when i was trying to buy players i think i'm going to have to um be a little bit lenient with the transfer thing because i i don't want the deal to fall through they said i can get him for 111 so let's just try and do that first sell on clause is my best friend right now and they want who, who is that i can't see the person's name calvin james no never never going to fucking happen never going to fucking happen all right so i'm going to try and give them the 111 once again even though it's kind of annoying me that it's 111, why not 110? That's our final offer. All right, so they want a 5% salon clause and 131. All right, so that was the asking price. So I'm going to like increase this to 100, hmm, 115. Let's see what they say about 115. Uh, edit salon clause to 10% and what they say. All right, so they dropped it to 120. I think I think I'm actually good with that. So all I all I need to do right now is, oops is this i'm definitely not going to be selling him on so i guess they are going to agree with that yes they do then as for his wages as for his contract and all i think it can't be crucial definitely can't be crucial um four years i think i'm okay with four years that'll be till he's 30 i have like three more years from this i, I don't want to fucking release for that's the last thing that i want in his life right now um hundred thousand pounds nine hundred seventy thousand signing bonus all right i think i think i'm good with that i think i am good with that so we have kamavinga in our team now and well this is most likely the only the only sign i'm going to make because i don't think i need anybody else in the team at this point so i just i just really hope that we're able to repeat exactly what we did in the previous season that's going to be hella crazy if we we're able to do that we get the b for the deal i could have saved 15.8 i actually hate to when do this thing because i mean the game knows that I could not have done that. So why the hell are they telling me I could have saved 15.8? Like, is there something I, I could have done in order for me to have saved that much money? I mean, I, I don't really think so. So I'm just going to get these two guys out of the, the transfer. Hub. I'm not really interested in signing anybody anymore. So let's deal with Kamavinga real quick. I think, yeah, he, he, he actually would be good playing there. So that is, yeah, that's a good, a good role for him. Mason Mount, you have a red card. I don't know why the fuck you have a red card, but okay. I think, yeah, it, it, it's up to keeper. I don't really think I need one. I mean, it's really dangerous. It's really fucking dangerous that I'm, I'm doing this without, without a, 
a substitute keeper. All right, so I got Mike Magnan and Andre Lunin. Andre Lunin is actually the person that I would go for because Magnan's already on the old side, on the other side, and I really don't know if he's going to last to the end of the series. But this guy is definitely going to if he doesn't actually want to leave the club at some point, which I am pretty sure he would want to if we actually keep on going the way we are going. So I want to give them 22 million pounds and a 15% sell-on clause, and let's see if that if they will be okay with that. So they want 23.6, and let's just drop this to 23, and I guess that we should be good with this deal. They want 23.5, I think I'm okay with that. So a sporadic deal is what they want, and then a three-year deal, I'm okay with the three-year deal. That still is 33. That's still the end of the series. And that then no release clause as well, and then the final thing is his salary. He's currently getting 61, so I think I'll get I'll give him a bump up to 80. No signing signing bonus or anything like that all right they do accept the reasonable the reasonable offer so the next player that's in our team right now is andre andre learning so let's see if that was an a deal it should be an a deal there's no way it's not an a deal i mean he, he does look good i wish he had a face though it's a d I, I don't know how the hell is a d but okay i'm just going I'm, I'm just going to go with that so i've done a lot of stuff behind the scenes and we are now at the so I have done a lot of stuff behind the scenes and I am now at the Super Cup match against Inter Milan. I didn't really do anything that important. It's basically just loan offers. I didn't sell anybody or buy anybody or, or anything like that. So you guys didn't miss anything at all. I just wanted to like to go to skip this shit as fast as possible. So the first thing we're doing is obviously the Inter Milan match. And before I do that, I think I forgot to do a development schedule for Kamavinga and the things that I, I don't even know if wow this, this team is crazy this team is fucking crazy yeah he's actually peaked so i i, I guess there's no there's no point in doing that jim is still injured that is sad so he's not going to be lifting this trophy as well it was really sad that he wasn't able to lift the trophy from last season i'm not going to be playing the full match just the playable highlights so these are the kits that we're using for this season we have air jordan as our sponsor and it's just for our home kits because we can't use the same style for all of the other kits so um, this is the home one, the all whites normally, and then we have the navy blue highlights and, and all that jazz. Then on the away kit, we have the sky blue and the navy blue joined together. The sky blue has some sort of marble pattern. And then for the alternate, it is, I don't know what that design is, but it's an abstract design. And it's white and black, and then it has gold highlights on the, on the kit. So obviously, I'm going to be using the home kit, and I'm going to give them their home kit as well. So let's see what we can any changes we can make do i even want to make any changes in the first place i do not think so learning is the latest option all right so there's someone that's missing from this oh yeah um james is supposed to be here but he's injured so i guess this is the lineup we're going to be using for now i'm actually in, i'm actually tempted to to play in learning rather than than van Dre. So let's just see what he'll be able to do in this match. I really hope that he can actually do something. He has a minus one on him, so that's not very good. But I'm just going to hope that he can, I mean, prove himself. I mean, it's a preseason match. I don't really care about it that much, even though it's super good. But I think I've won it once before. I mean, we've won it. We've, we've won the Champions League twice before last season. And I feel um, we lost one of the Super Cups. I'm not particularly sure, but I think I, I think we did lose one of the Super Cups, but that's not important right now, though. What's important is winning this particular one, and I feel like I feel like this is going to be yet another good episode. I, I, I doubt it's going to be as flawless as last as last episode, though. Sorry, as last season, but this this season, I mean, we probably are going to win like one or two trophies. I hope so. This is going to be the first out of many. There are. Five, tr four trophies up for grabs, and I'm I'm going to try my best to win all four of them. So, they have an attack in the first in the in the 18th minute, and Helbig should be able to. Ha okay, so he just okay. That was that was a good steal from from Pedri. All right, German, what do you have? Okay, why did he shoot like that? Like I, I expected him to actually to actually shoot it. I have no idea what he did there. Alright, so is the game going to fuck me up here? They tried, but I can't do that. How long against the first goal of the 
of the match in the 49th minutes. That's that's the second half. I didn't even know we were in the fucking second half. Now we are now we have a chance to go 2-0 up. So we should probably take this. We're going up against Ramsdale, Fontega against Ramsdale. And Alright, bottom right corner. Nothing nothing about could do. Thank god I didn't actually try try to the panic guy. That, that would have been hella embarrassing. But alright, so that's 2-0. And just like that, it jumps all the way to the end of the match and we do win it 2-0. That is the first trophy that we're going to be winning in this season. Alright, so Helvig is going to be lifting the trophy this time. There's no Van Dre in the team. There's no I mean he's back there, but he's not he's he's not the one that is he wasn't in the first team. He wasn't in the starting level rather, so Helvig is the one that's going to lift it and no no fan shouting. I don't know why the hell that is happening, but well we have won yet another trophy. I don't really care, so I'm just going to skip it. I just want to see the scenes and all. So let's go straight into the season. We have Atletico Madrid coming up next. I'm not going to play that much. I'm really not interested in playing it. We do win 2 1 against against Deportivo Alaves and now we have the match against Atletico Madrid coming up and I'm really I'm, I'm really hoping that we are able to win this through the simulation I really hope that we're able to do that but before I do that there's probably a couple things that I need to do we just brought this guy in from from uh, from the youth academy and I don't know why he's on the transfer window I don't know why they are trying to buy him already. That's, that that sucks. But the match against Atletico Madrid is up. I'm going to give Adeyemi a chance here, as well as Rise, as well as uh, I don't know who else. I guess I guess Mason Mount might want to have a go. So I think I'm going to start him in this match. So let's hope that we do win the match. Uh, we are we're we're home. So yeah, that's a good win. Um, German Adeyemi and German again. He got he got. A brace in this match that is that's good for him next up we don't really have that many things but the champions league match is probably going to pop up anytime soon so i'm just going to simulate to the hitafi match because there's really no match there that i'm actually interested in playing to be honest i'm going to, we're going to be finishing the transfer window soon and i mean i mean it's been a good transfer i mean it's only kamavinga we got and lunin as well so i don't really have a problem with this with those guys i don't know why they are we're, were in the same group as Dortmund back to back which makes me very very uninterested in that match to be honest so I'm not going to play it I'm going to sim past it 2-0 against Osasuna 3-0 against Star Gotha then we we do win the, the Dortmund match 1-0 and this is looking like a flawless season and I hope I've not jinxed it by saying that just now but no I haven't so that's 3-0 a 3-0 win to, to Real Betis and a 4-1 win to Granada and I completely forgot that I uh I sent someone out to for youth stuff and all that so I'm just going to do that real quick I mean a couple of players have already been scouted that's that's my bad but let's look at what we can do now what we can get rather from what we have here no one that is of any I mean this guy looks like he might be good I mean he, he should be in his 60s in the 60s I'm not quite sure but I mean that's it for Brazil and then the other team, other country, Netherlands. What do we have? I mean, I did three months, so I mean, I should be able to get someone that is worthwhile in the three months that I'm scouting. I'm scouting these guys for scouting in those countries. For we have Hetafe up next. Any changes I would like to make? Obviously, Stewart is not really happy. I, I guess because he's not really getting much of play time because. Um, Because he's not a center back. But I will give Bino Gittins a chance here. And I will play Adeyemi for Haaland. So let's see if we should be able I mean we should be able to win this. I hope. Yes, we do. Fonseca Helvig. Fonseca gets a brace. That's kind of similar to the last match we played. So I was curious to see who is in our team. It turns out there's not a lot of people that I'm actually interested in playing, but I'm going to play the, the highlights for the um, what's that match? The Marseille match. We we draw against Copenhagen. That's very weird. And that's our first loss in um in over a year. That is crazy. That's crazy that we actually we actually doing that good. But I re I actually wanted us to not have a loss this season as well. But I mean we can't. That can't work every time. So all right. So we're at the match against Marseille, and there should be yeah. I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting about the youth academy players once again. Okay, so this guy seems like he might be no, he's not interesting at all. <laughs> I just saw his overall and it was it was fucked up. 
so no one from Brazil yet again we have one more month to go before they can change their minds and all so I mean he looks he looks interesting so I'm going to sign him and see what's up this guy you know you know you're definitely no, you're definitely not going to be up to his 60 overall and then yeah so no one from from um Netherlands that was actually of any serp 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 you know what just forget it Cir circumstantial circumstantial yes circumstantial what the fuck how did i forget that word okay whatever circumstantial no one from that list that was of any circumstantial value that's what i wanted to say i couldn't speak english for like three seconds there or like 10 seconds something like that so um not changing any of those is is james back james is actually back that is good so um He's going to bench Kamavinga for a little bit. So is uh, you know what? Yeah, this guy probably isn't playing that many games. So I'm just going to to let him play and give the armband back to James for this match, and then I'll play Rise. I'll start Rise, and I think that's okay. I'm okay with that. So um, why the fuck am I going back there? We are away from home, which makes me want to use um, this one. I think that's the most sensible right now. Marseille is actually a really tough team. I think I've actually faced them before in the Champions League. I'm not sure. I think it was in like a quarter final or something like that. But they are starting the match with a counter attack or rather a normal attack. And that was close. I almost. Alright, so we have a counter attack. I don't know what the hell Fonteca and Haaland are doing right now, but. Let's try and give this to Haaland and come on please thank you that's a good start and we are okay one nil I guess I, I really don't know how it became you know what forget <laughs> we're winning one nil so that's what's that's what's important we have a we have something for Seka here and I fucking wasted that. My, my guy would have gotten that. I, I have no idea why the hell the game decided to stop it there. And now we are one on one with a defender. Is Fonseca going to be able to do anything here? He does get past the defender, luckily. And the keeper does save him. I'm saying this guy is not, it's not very good at the one on ones. I have no bloody idea why. But uh, really not something to be proud of, to be honest. So I'm going to blast this top. Bottom, bottom left corner rather. All right, so he, he does get his goal. So we see Fonseca with the goals in this match, and then the last, probably the last attack that we have, I doubt, but it might just be the last. We have Kamavinga here, and all right, so that might just be. Yeah, his first assist of this team, of, of in this club, that is good, and that was actually. A really good shot. There's no way. There's no way that they were going to. The keeper was going to catch that. Like it was it was strong, high, and hard. So there's no way. The keeper had no chance at all. All right. What can we do here? Haaland or Helvig rather. Does bury that in the post. So that is four 0 The the thing is actually changing really really fast. I don't know why. I don't know why that's happening. But we have another count. Another attack. It's not a counter, but... Ah, come on! Come on! The game did, the game did not do me justice there. I wanted to get... I wanted to get that 5-0 victory. So bad I didn't. It, although it doesn't really matter. We do demolish them. And that just shows how... That just shows the level of dominance in this team. Marseille next. I think I, think I will just... I'll play the Sevilla match and I'll play the Dortmund match. That's the second loss this season against Valencia. That's not very good. And then we lose to fucking Marseille, the team that we just that we just beat 4-0. How the hell, how the fuck does that happen? And we're at home. We're, we're at home in that fixture that we just lost just now. And that's fucking stupid. That's really fucking stupid if you ask me. Because of the losses, I want to look at where we are on the table. I see that we are second. We are three points behind Barcelona. I mean, we can't still win this with 
better performances so i don't know why the hell we are losing left and right but i also want to see how the champions league stuff is doing yeah we are first Borussia Dortmund is right on our tail so the next match that I want to play against them we absolutely have to do our best in that match I'm going to be simming this one real quick I hope that we do win it we do Florian Wirtz and German get the goals for us and then we're going to be going straight to the Dortmund match if I'm not wrong I think that should be the match that is next okay no it's not next but it's closed by ish almost at the match against athletic bilbao we should win that one easily 2-1 so it really wasn't an easy win but i will i will take that so now we have borussia dortmund this match is is kind of important let me just change the kit real quick i haven't used the the alternate kit yet so i'm going to use that for this match and then for the the formation this guy is not it's not doing well morale wise yeah i think i think i'm good with that i think i also have to change the let's try and do something crazy like that all right let's see how that would work out in this match even though i'm even though it's just like playable highlights it's not it's not really going to make any difference i'm going to have to do that once we're doing the match i'm, I'm going to bring Foden in and then i will bring mason mount and then james will play even though i think he's playing more games than kamavinga because i mean he's already not he's already out of injury so he shouldn't really be on the bench but he has a minus four there which is not a good sign so i hope he's actually he actually is he actually is getting games all right so camp new what the fuck did i say the signal in Duna park welcomes us we have demolished dortmund in this particular stadium the last time and let's see if we're going to be able to get a double win against them we have a solo run in the 17th minute 16th minute rather rather and I really hope that we are able to hold this. Yeah, Helvig does a very good job there and gives it to, to Stewart. We have a counter attack. And I think, I think German is the best option. He ran a little bit too wide there. And yeah, we're, we're, are, I'm not able to get these shots off for that. So we have a counter attack and okay so that was not a very good that was a nice pass <laughs> nice pass from from Stewart there we're still in the first half luckily so we still we probably still have a bunch of a bunch of options okay what the hell was that why was that a thing that you did Alright, so we're in the second half, which means we have to pick up the pace. We have to pick up the fucking pace right now. Alright, who's coming? Haaland, is that you? Okay, back to Pedri. Helvig, come on. Alright, the keeper was just able to save that. And I hate it when they jump from the 60-something minute to the end of the match. It's so annoying. Well, I guess we're still going to be first. A goalless draw. Haaland didn't score against his previous club. Odegaard is in Dortmund as well. I think he was also in Dortmund last season. I'm not quite sure. But we're in the month of December already. And the match that I'm going to be playing is going to be this one against Real Madrid. But before I go into that match, I just want to see real quick if... Alright, so Ojeda has been loaned out. Anyway, I want to see real quick if... Um, the Ballon d'Or thing has come out. The nominees. Alright, they haven't, they haven't given me any of that yet. Nothing for the Ballon d'Or yet, so I guess it should... I mean, I'll check the 8th of the month. So, hi boss, I'm paying blah 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 blah. Hey boss, I know people have you can be even better. Just, just increase your morale as best as you can. you get that chance. Thanks for showing faith in me, boss, even though I'm not one of the big stars at the club. I mean, you're just here just in case anything happens to Van Dray. You're not really going to... I mean, you're really not my business, though, so... Uh, we have one match at hand, and we're probably going to fuck Real Madrid up right now. And if we win, we'll be going to first place. So that is that is the goal right now. But before I do that, let me just fix this because I do not know why the hell. Yeah, this just means that this guy isn't really playing that many games because his morale is dropping like like a fucking fly. Nah, what the fuck was I about to do just now? Yeah, Bino Gettings has has improved to eighty-seven. That's good for him. 
that's actually good for him let me do that thing i did for german right now let's see if that will actually work in an actual match and then for stewart because i want him to be playing i, I think I'm, I'm i'm just going to do that left back nah all right so yeah that's good so i mean he's going to be playing in that position mainly let's hope that doesn't actually fuck up everything in, in my defense i really hope i really hope that i really hope that doesn't fuck up everything in the defense for me though i really really hope that's the case i'm going all out against real madrid i'm using the main team fonseca Haaland, german and Foden at the wings pedri verts and james in the middle of the park and then store helvig and Guardiola at the back with Vandre in the post so let's hope that i do get the win here if you guys are enjoying this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already you can see fontega is already topping the scoring chart already in this season with 11 goals in i really don't know how many games we've played but it should be almost half it should be like 15 or 16 or something like that if i'm wrong but we are in the camp de cohetes here against real madrid we demolished them completely last season and I'm really looking forward to yet another win. Win. I do not know what German was doing there that he did not get that ball. All right. So that was sweet. I mean, I really had to concentrate as best I could to be able to get that. That was actually good play from Foden on the right wing there. I'm man that was that was that was fucking insane i can't believe we actually went and did that and then pedri the most unlikely guy to score that goal he's the one that scored it and that is good for that is good for us all right so that is yet another I don't know what the fuck happened there. Definitely could have worked out a lot better than it did. The sun is actually making things really difficult for me right now. It's not making me see quite well. But they are actually fucking up a lot. That was actually really good from... Come on. Oh my god, you missed that. You fucking missed that. What the hell? That was put on a fucking plate for you, Haaland. Alright, what can German do here? Alright, nothing. I mean, it was pretty close-ish. The keeper didn't dive. Which makes me look... Makes it look way, way worse than it actually was. Alright, so we actually... We're actually closing them down like crazy though yeah we actually are doing it really well so let's just hope that our our defending oh my god our defense was just so open right now and thank god thank god he was able to get that to the player that was there just now that that would have been a fucking disaster that have been a fucking disaster Come on, get it from me, get it away from him. Okay. Okay, that is not a very good. Oh. 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 Oh, such a weak fucking shot and that move that move deserved deserved a fucking goal at the end of it that move deserved a fucking a fucking a fucking goal at the end of it man and this Vinicius guy is a bloody fucking cheat what the hell and then actually not switching to any of my players that's so 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 great but thank you that's not what I really want right now Good save from Vandre though. Alright, let's see if we can actually get a corner. Sorry, a, a counter attack out of this out of this um corner. Alright, so who can I give it to immediately? Ah oh, crap. It's already long gone. Can we get this to 
No, we can't. So um, that's the end of the first half. After that first goal against 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 them from Pedri, Rex did really well. But then around the ending of uh, of the first half, we just haven't really done the done a lot. I mean, we've had a lot of a lot of interesting chances that we have fucked up. I don't know why Haaland's stamina is so bad. I don't know why he keeps on. Uh, I don't know why his stamina drains a lot faster than the others. I don't think there's any advanced role that I gave him. Thank you, Helvig, for that. Okay. Well, you're not looking like you want to do anything. Well, how long is? And this might be the second goal. Yes, it is. I'm really happy that Courtois is not the one in the goal right now. I don't know whoever the fuck... I don't know who the fuck um, Fontaine is or whatever that guy's name is. But German did really well. Fonteca dragged those defenders like away as best as he could. And the rest was pretty much easy. Just lay it off to Haaland and he's not going to disappoint you from there. Big problem is still, is still this man, Vinicius. Like, he just doesn't fucking give up. He just legit does not give up at all. So it's so annoying. All right. Uh, okay, that's uncalled for. But this will be an interesting goal. Yes, it is. So that is three nil to Real Madrid in the sixty fifth minute, and the, we are absolutely flying already. And there's nothing, it's absolutely nothing that they can do about it. We are just way better than them by far. So, um, I already brought in Kamavinga. So, I'm bringing in... Stuart's injured. How the hell did that happen? How the fuck did that happen? Let's just bring him back to the world DM. Yeah, bring him back to the center. And then take... Bring... Bring Tommy Asu in. Sorry. Alright, well that's a good goal from Haaland. Or he's going to be or from Fontega, but Haaland is going to be going off right now because he's actually low on stamina. I really do not know why. Okay. Looking at uh, no, I probably should have passed that earlier. I actually took too much time looking at where he's, he was going to be that, and, and I forgot to actually make the pass. Come on, no, why didn't he shoot? I fucking pressed the button. I, I swear to God, I pressed the button. I swear to God, I fucking pressed the button. Yeah, we're actually doing a lot better now. Okay. German. Alright, the pass was too early. I just didn't know what else to do there. Vardio, that is insane play from him. And we lose the ball like straight away. Straight away. And I fucking hate it when that happens. What the hell? What? And we've already won the match basically, but I mean a clean sheet is important. And the game and the game just fucked everything up just now. Oh god, that just killed my entire fucking mood just now. Alright, well that was sorry about that. Um that was a um good win. We did really well, both first and second half. I think it's just one more match we have to play. That is the one against Villarreal. I'm going to be playing the highlights of that. With this we should be on top of the league now without any problems but before i do that let's see if fonteca did win the ballon d'Or. that would be that would be good for him if he does let's check if they've um brought this stuff out fonteca go blah 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 Stewart injuries worries fans okay that that one is scary but there's nothing there's nothing on there's nothing on uh ouch something on the ballon d'or there so i'm just going to simulate to seven days not it's not really that bad so i guess that will work whoops i'm just going to simulate to uh the villarreal match 
Oh no, 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 shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I want to go to the eight to see if anything happens. That's a three to win against Hirona. I think that was Hirona. I'm, not, I'm I'm really not sure if it was or not. How long development schedule he's done with that? So um let's look at what is important right now, which is the Ballon d'Or. Still don't have anything like that. Who will be 2029's player of the year? All right, so we have Haaland and Fonseca in this. Haaland, Vlahovic, Fonseca, and Mbappe. I've completely forgot, forgotten about Mbappe, to be honest. <laughs> really fucking forgotten about him. He's still in PSG. That's weird. That's really fucking weird. But it would be it would be nice to see to see uh, Fonseca lives. I mean, he's he's there. He's there. He got 55 goals and a treble last season. So he's definitely, definitely, definitely going to be going to be lifting that trophy when the time comes. So I'm just going to simulate to this one that I will simulate the match normally, and I really hope that we are going to be able to win it. Um, let's look at the formation real quick. I, I can I'll, I'll keep Kamavinga on the bench. No, let's let's let Mount play for Pedri, and then Rise. He hasn't really started this season, so. Um, I think I think I think I'm good with this. We really shouldn't lose this match. We are at home. We should not lose it. We actually fucking lose twice to these bastards. We actually lose twice to these fucking bastards. What the hell? What the what the actual fuck? But before I get carried away, I should probably look at who wins the Ballon d'Or. It hasn't come up for some reason. It hasn't come up for some reason. All right, I'm, I'm really, I'm really hoping that uh, this game doesn't fuck me up. All right, stop. All right, so yeah, he does win the Ballon d'Or. That is, that is good for him. I'm actually really proud of him. 55 goals and three trophies in in, in total last season. That was that was fucking crazy. That was fucking crazy. That was the fucking crazy ass season that we had last season, man. And yeah, he does deserve the Ballon d'Or. So that is the second time he's lifting the Ballon d'Or. And to be honest, I feel like he he legit. He definitely will be the player best player in the world right now to be honest I, I can swear it i can swear that he currently is the best player in the world like you won't find anyone that is better than him right now so the last match i'm going to play is going to be against our beta rivals villarreal i mean i hate this team so much and from this game <laughs> I've, I've made myself not like the team in real life god all right so we are first so this match will mean a lot to us let's see what we got here I will leave these two guys. Holland's already 96, Fonseca's on 95. That's crazy. I didn't even notice that. German is on 94. Foden has been on 93 for a while now. And I think I'm going to start resaying this match. And uh, I think I'll start Kamazinga as well. So, so are the Camde Coheters against our bitter rivals Villarreal. And I always like beating this team, even though it hasn't really been as flawless as the Real Madrid wins I've been having. But uh, they're definitely a tough side. They've gotten tougher over the years. And of course, they get the fucking first, first scenario. Bloody fucking solo ruin. We should be able to fix this. Yeah, definitely. Psych. All right. So, what the hell is this? What the actual fuck is this? I swear to God, if I lose the ball, right? Bro. Okay, this this might be a blessing. A blessing in disguise. Let's see, is Fonseca going to be able to... He did not just pass that ball with his fucking head. He did not just pass that ball with his fucking head. Alright, I see Haaland and I'm hoping he doesn't get offside before I make this pass. Alright, he's not, but... German... Oh my god, why did I fucking do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I do that? Oh my god. Ugh. All right, so good work, and this might just be the best fucking opportunity that we have right now. Haaland definitely take this or not. So we basically do not want to score in this match. They they basically don't want to score in this match. So I swear to God, these guys are not going to fucking win me. They cannot fucking win me. Okay, good work from Bino. And this might just be the best opportunity yet. So let's hope that the game does not screw me over. Haaland, this is your last chance. 
probably and man okay so that was that was really good finishing i was so scared i already thought that he was going to get that the keeper but Haaland came through that's probably the last attack for this match okay no it's not we have um one more thank god it's us though not them let's see if this i mean this thing actually really reliable it doesn't work a lot but i mean my players do get a hit on it like that like 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 that i mean fucking hit the post there so that's so lucky that'll have been a really good a really good ending i think that was hell big i'm not sure who that was but, but that was very very um sad <laughs> like he wasn't able to get that goal but we do deserve the win i think we've had much better chances and i think the least is actually looking he actually looked good i really wanted to buy him just because of that image there the graphics were so fucking insane and uh yeah, right, that's the last match for this um episode and the last thing that we have to do is simulate to the 31st and hope that we do win this match against celta vigo it should be an easy win and of course i say easy win and we fucking lose match 3-2 it's fucking celta vigo and with that barcelona actually get ahead of us once again and it's not a very good thing it's not a very fucking good thing at all i don't know like that Ah, oh god it just just means that we're we're going to need to be at the top of our game for next for next episode all right so let's look at the the stats before we end it squad hub and then stats one take out with 17 and 9 as usual Haaland with 11 and 4 goals german with 5 goals and 6 assists we say with 5 goals okay we say he's actually coming back that's that's good for him 5 goals and 6 assists um he has only 90 that's good for him Florian Virts with three goals and one assist. That's the top five in the team right now. Helvig is actually doing really well scoring the goals, and I think I I, I need to change I need to change um the captain thing back to uh what's his face to James. Yeah, that's the one and only captain. One and only fucking captain. All right, so this is the end of the episode. But before I do that, I just want to uh do the neutral here. Sorry about that. I mean, you guys don't have to watch this part to be honest. <laughs> so, alright, I do not watch the fucking release clause, but that is unavoidable. I, I really don't want to spend my time doing negotiations and shit. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys and I'll see you guys rather in the next episode. Peace.